Now to an NBC News exclusive. Secret talks between former U.S. government officials and Russian figures, including President Vladimir Putin's top diplomat. Sources telling NBC they are designed to lay the groundwork for a future peace deal to end the war in Ukraine. NBC's Josh Letterman joins us now from London with more on this exclusive reporting. So, Josh, at this point, what do we know? Well, hey, Craig, good morning. Current and former U.S. officials say that this back channel includes a private meeting that Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, held in April while he was briefly in New York. On the American side, there are several former White House and State Department staffers who have deep experience with Russia. Other talks have involved influential Russian academics and foreign policy experts. And we are told that at least one former U.S. official has actually traveled to Russia to discuss Ukraine. Now, this track two diplomacy, as it's called, is not a substitute for real peace talks, but it is aimed at helping end the war. It's an informal way for both sides to explore compromises on the toughest issues. For example, what what will happen to those Russian-held territories that Ukraine, frankly, may never be able to liberate? Now, the White House is not directing these talks, but does know about them. Sources tell us that the Americans briefed the National Security Council about that meeting with Lavrov. And the Ukrainian government, they are now pushing back, saying that Ukraine's fate cannot be decided without Ukraine, Craig. So there's the diplomatic, uh, the possibility of perhaps a diplomatic solution. Let's talk about the war itself uh, while we have you. You're tracking yet another major way that the U.S. could have an impact on the battlefield. What more can you tell us about that, Josh? Yeah, that's right, Craig. Officials say that the Biden administration is leaning toward giving Ukraine cluster bombs to use against Russian forces. Now, these are warheads that disperse smaller bombs over a wider area and so that they can destroy multiple targets at once. But many countries ban them, and some human rights groups have raised serious concerns because they are so indiscriminate that they sometimes injure or kill innocent civilians. We are told that an announcement could come imminently. Craig? Josh Letterman, Force there in London. Josh, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.